Ladies and gentlemen, it is match day. Now the Matildas may have fallen short against the Lionesses on Wednesday in something that I'm still gutted about, that defeat. But today they've got the third place playoff up in Brisbane, just an hour north of where I live. So I'll be traveling up to watch them hopefully take the bronze home. And the third place playoff is something that maybe in the past... A lot of FIFA World Cups, they don't really take this too seriously. You normally see teams play their second string sides of substitutes and reserves who didn't get that much game time during the tournament. But I've got a feeling Australia will take this one quite seriously today. The fact that they've already achieved uh, a record, either for the, the men's, women's or any of the youth sides at a World Cup, that's already secure. But to walk away with a bronze something that they can then a medal they can hang on their neck and remember this by that's something that they're going to want and it's something that the country wants they've got behind this tournament in grandeur scale everyone still has that matilda's fever despite being out so we're going to see it brought to the swedish today at suncorp stadium in brisbane is it post office square now the war memorial up ahead it's a nice walk isn't it for the free fifa games now, third place. Does it mean anything? Yes, it means something. What does it mean? Why is it important? Third place. <laughs> but why is it important they well, get third it could place? Be fourth place. But in history, teams don't normally take the third place playoff very seriously. They play their substitutes, the people that didn't get a run during the tournament. I don't know, don't talk to me. Don't talk to you. <laughs> nice. Great analysis. Here we are at Brisbane Stadium here at the venue for today's third place playoff between the Matildas and Sweden. There's a 52, 52 and a half thousand capacity for this arena after it was redeveloped in 2003 at a cost of $230 million. And funnily enough, its original site has been around hosting sports games since 1914, built on the site of a cemetery. Is it? Yeah. Can you believe it? No. You're jumping up and down. When you celebrate a goal, you are jumping on someone's grave. Speaking of heebie-jeebies, this is what gives me the heebie-jeebies. Tell me, how does that relate to football? Ladybugs. Thank you. Yes, what a line for the FIFA store. Everyone getting their merchandise quickly before it all goes. Oh, but here we are. Brisbane Stadium is, in my opinion, the best football stadium in Australia. There is no stadium in this country that is as good to watch football in. I mean that from an atmosphere perspective. If, if you can get this place going, it's absolutely wild. And that's because it's built in a rectangular shape, unlike the other stadiums across this country. Uh, you know, they play AFL in them and they've got an oval shape to them, those big stadiums. So while their capacity is greater than what you see here, 52,000, you'll get stadiums down in Sydney and Melbourne, which are, you know, 80,000 plus, 100,000 in Melbourne. You just don't get that atmosphere when you're further away from the pitch. As a prolific player yourself, are we going to see a Matilda's victory today? Or are they going to take a step back and build a weak inside the girls that haven't featured so far? I think they're going to be very hungry after the Marlon, what's it going to be? Score prediction. Uh, it's going to be a tight one, two one. Two one. I, I, re I reckon that's a good prediction. Kurt, Kurt will score a goal. Kurt. Here now with two of my friends, Jin and Luke. Luke, just quickly, I need a score prediction for the game. One nil. One nil. Give us a score prediction.
I think both teams are going to field a couple of different players, maybe defensively a bit weaker. And uh, Australia 2 1, Sam Kerr to score both. Winston Lau, my good friend, Winston. Hey, how you going? You're going to give me a score prediction for today. What are you thinking? I'm saying Australia 2 1. Easy win. Me and Marlon both also agree with you. 2 1. Two Who's going to score? Oh, you have to bet on Kerr twice. And again, Kerr. See, something's in the water here. People know what's going to happen. It's no longer a prediction, it's a spoiler. Right, I've got news for you. Not only have you snuck beer into the non alcohol section, I went looking for you. Yeah, I went looking for you in the queue. I couldn't find you. <laughs> got to try a booze. You watched England high ET and there was only a penalty goal. I'm talking about real goals here. Then you watched Australia, France, was it? Or England? England, Nigeria. That was nil nil as well. Went to penalties. Then you watched Australia, France. Nil nil penalties. You've not seen a goal. What's that? Four hours of football? Five hours. Five hours of football. It's true. Five hours of football. Are you cursed? Prediction. Jesus! Everyone has gone for 2 1. Who's going to score? Give us a goal scorer. One goal scorer. I'm not making it up. Everyone's saying the same thing. It's no longer a prediction. It's a spoiler. 2 1. Matildas, here we go. Sweden just at the bar. Not good, is it? Quick thump. Bar check here looks like Sweden could be getting a penalty for something, possibly a handball when that cross came in, they hit the bar. That's a great chance, but I didn't see a handball in there, did you? Yeah. Who knows if we After the on-field review, the final decision is penalty. Looking at it here, what it could be for. Crowd don't like that. The softest of touches. She's gone into the spot. Contentious penalty brought down in the box, but softest of touches. You right there? The only other foul that's been committed so far this half is is you. Yeah, we can still do it. Still do it. 
not worried by the fact we've only had one shot on target. I think two now, actually. No, he's going to give him a pep talk now. In the changing rooms, then we're going to come back stronger. Only uh, I think two shots on target for, for each team in, in that half. So a, a game of very few chances, but both teams are known for their defensive work, their defensive effort. Still think there's a chance with Sam Kerr on the field. Anything can happen at any moment. So I'm sticking with the prediction. You need to be locked up. Well, no, I'm not enjoying it. To do it in sequence. Hide the booze. Hide the booze. I did. I did. She was looking. She was looking for the booze. Very much looks like that could be the end of Sam Kerr's World Cup. Then we've got to stand up and give her a clap. She gets off. Up there. Yeah, yeah. She goes off on a stretcher. Yeah. Here, unfortunately, Sweden victorious. Two goals to nil, and they take third place. A bittersweet ending for the Matildas World Cup campaign. They done so well to get as far as they did, and heartbreaking defeat to England, and then again tonight, missing out on third place. But what they've achieved shouldn't be underestimated by any means. They've inspired an entire nation. And the next generation of footballers across this country, particularly women footballers now, can dare to dream and hopefully one day achieve the same outstanding feat that the Matildas have. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Click here to watch some of the World Cup videos all here. I'm not sure where the box will come up, but 